Welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Age of Fear 3, The Legend. As promised in my first look video, which I did just a few days ago, once Age of Fear 3, The Legend, released, which is today, September 1st, 2017, I would hop in and start my Let's Play. So, let's hop in and start our Let's Play, shall we? New campaign! And we did the kind of the opening tutorialized area in the Legend of Gilrock in the first look video. I told you guys I was going to go switch over to the nature of the monster as my let's play start. And then once we finish this campaign, we'll hop over to this one. So cool stuff. I've been in contact actually with the developer too. Pretty cool guy. I like him. It's good stuff. So yeah, and he's very open to feedback and just information about the game, like things that we would like to see, so on and so forth. And he's really good about trying to, well, work with the community. And the community has been really good with this series to begin with, so good stuff all around. That being said, Nature of the Monster, Dryad Anairi and her monstrous partner have a revenge to exact on a mysterious mage. Will their, will their combined forces suffice? I can read sometimes, guys. All right, let's go. We're dealing with experienced again, and hope it is the right one for us. Pitmaster has been in touch. It seems Lord Azil is looking for two more beasts for his fighting pits. I must confess, I've never known dwarves to love watching others fight as much as his townsfolk do. Bloodthirsty folk they are. I've spoken to the local hunters. There's a dryad rumored to be in the nearby forest. There really is one out there that will be something special. We'll hunt it down. I'm not certain what we'll do with the creature. But rumor has it that they can be quite ferocious when provoked. We'll have to see about bringing out that ferocity on a more permanent basis. That will take some time for me to study, though. I need a bait. I know one iron-headed knight, and he will be just perfect for this job. Alright, welcome to Age of Fear 3, The Legend. The next few levels teach the basics of the game and introduce our story. I will play the introduction, thank you. Alright, welcome to the world map, ladies and gentlemen. And this is an optional quest, if I'm not wrong, but it's part of the tutorial, so we do want to fight it because we want to be tutorialized and learn and know and just experience as much of the game as we can. So let's begin. Alright, we are loading the battle. Alright, and here we are, Sir Galad. Stand aside, forest creatures! This is our sacred ground, Sir Knight. You must retreat from here before we spill your blood. I'm not going to do female voices. It's not going to happen. By order of the king, these lads must be purged. Men, charge! My forest friends, defend the holy circle! Bro! Tee-hee. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's begin, guys and gals. Oh, boy. All right, so it looks like... So I know how to do stuff now. I'm going to hit buttons and it's going to be cool. All right, so we're zoomed in, looking all sexy like we are. And it looks like we have ourselves a maple bark. I don't know what that means, but we have a maple bark. Is it double click? How do we... Hmm. Unit information? Okay. So it is actually a maple bark. That's what it's called. Saprolings are the closest friends of dryads and the most numerous of forest folk. These shepherds of the forest will defend nature in all circumstances. Given time, a saproling will grow into a powerful ant. Ooh, they're flammable. That sounds bad. But they are a plant and they do regenerate. So that's good, I guess? All right, it looks like we have four of those. We have two of dryads and a third dryad. Where's, uh, where's our the person? Carly? That wasn't it, was it? I could have sworn she had a different name. Wow, she's got a whole bunch of stuff she can do. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Age of Fear 3. I've I played a little bit of the game, but there's still going to be a ton of stuff that I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, I'm not sure about these particular creatures and things, so be aware that it might be a bit rough. Oh, so these are dryads. And she's a nature sorceress. I wonder why it doesn't show that up at the top. It shows dry. Do all of them say? No, this is the bears. I guess that's from the group that they are. Ents. 
Maple Bar. Oh, that's his name. Oh, interesting. Okay. Sorry, guys. I, I'm taking too much time looking at just random stuff. All right. So we have to defeat all enemies and be victorious. So let's begin. Looks like we don't have an exceptionally good chance to hit things. But I'm going to waddle on over here and I'm going to smack this guy or at least attempt it. And I succeeded. It looks like I might have broken his bone. Not sure what that's about. He's Oh, he's got a permanent wound. He's been crippled. Well, that footman stands not a chance. What is this? We have a heal, control nature, takes control of enemy. Huh. Really? I guess it's enemy nature units, maybe? 10% failure, only plants are affected, okay. But we can ensnare. Alright, I like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and ensnare you. We missed. Because of course we missed. Alright, let's get on over here. We don't stand a, a great chance at hitting this guy, but a decent chance. Might as well. Ouch! Sir Galad did not enjoy that. Yes, Sir Galad, how do I get you to advance? Uh-oh. Game, love me. I'm sorry. I broke it. Oh, I didn't break it. I fixed it. I'm a hero. I have no idea what was going on. You'll regret that, Dryad. Okay. Sure. Let's go hit him with a bear. Bear. Oh, he's not doing super good. He is having bad times. What kind of spells can she cast? Chain Lightning targets up to three nearby enemies in a chain. Will that actually hit the enemies or will it hit our allies? Well, I guess we'll find out. Or it won't do anything and we just wasted a turn. That's cool too. Hmm. What's that? I want to net you. I still cannot do so. 30% chance we missed. Well. Waddle on in. Yeah. Ooh, we broke his his hat. He's got a head injury. Cool. Alright, I believe everybody has moved. You no longer see their portraits at the bottom. So that's that. Let's end our turn. Let's see what the enemy brings to bear. And I literally mean to bear and, of course, like, against us. Like, because we have a bear there. I like it. There was a play on words. I know I had to explain it. I'm sorry. Pressing space will toggle the UI. Yes, it will. See? UI is gone. Alright, so... Let's try lightning powers again. That will totally hit this time. Yes. I don't... I am convinced. <laughs> We're amazing. Look at that. That was amazing. Sorry. Oh, they done pooped their huggies. Run! It's Carly. Let him go, children. Let's not spill blood unnecessarily. Maybe her name always was Carly and I just missed it. It's fine. Uh, but I don't... I, I, I want I want to spill blood. I want to spill blood. Well, whatever. Um, I guess waddle over here. We'll get you guys to kind of like split up a little bit. Oh, splendid. Yes. Got it. Got him. All right, let's end our turn. Let's see if they retreat and flee in fear. One of your units has special abilities, which can be activated from the unit's menu. Right-click on the unit. The unit's current level of magic power, MP, is indicated by the yellow bar just below the red life bar. This lets you know how much magic the unit has left. Spells have various magic power costs associated with them. Magic slowly regenerates when the caster does not perform any actions or his or his sorry on his or her turn. Note, moving is not considered to be an action. If your magic unit is engaged in melee combat, special abilities like magic casting are usually blocked. It's important to try to keep your casters out of enemy reach. Good to know. Good to know. I feel like they didn't do anything this time. We'll wait again. Get out of here, fools. Retreat from us. Be afraid. Toodles. The battle has been won. The game will be saved. Some areas have secrets and stuff. Let's let's take a look. It's T, I believe. Is there anything that I've missed? Let's go back to a slightly further away view. Does not look like there's anything that I can interact with that I've missed. Uh, wait, it'd be N. 
Yeah, so it'd be N. It would show us, like, there was a barrel here. It would say barrel, and then you can, like, right-click on it, and it would show different things. All right, so there we go. All right, the battle's over. We have won. We are victorious! Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Sir Galad has fallen. Surprise, surprise. At least I don't have to pay him now. The fool stood no chance against the forest folk. Yet he fulfilled his purpose well, and occupied the dryads long enough for my rangers to grab a few of them. I must say, these dryads are quite pleasing on the eyes. For now, I need only one. I can keep the rest until I'm... done. Just in case something goes wrong with the procedure. Then the rest can fetch me a good price on the slave market. Hopefully some of those lecherous old men will have some luck taming them. That's assuming the dryads don't manage to kill them first, however. They're surprisingly fierce for such fragile-looking beings. As a side note, my returning rangers have recovered Sir Galad's body. I should send it to his family. But I have an idea for it. Lord Azil seems content with my beasts. He's invited me to see the first tournament he's using them in. The monstrosity is a homicidal maniac already, but the dryad required some tweaking. A couple of vials of chimera blood, and she is as bloodthirsty as a vampire. The problem is in their cooperation. They have to fight effectively and rely on each other's competence. The pitmaster is going to have a tough time ahead of him. Breaking an intelligent species is no small feat. Viciousness and obedience hardly go hand in hand. That said, if Lord Azil wants some entertainment, I can deliver. It'll be quite an interesting spectacle. Lord Azil plans to use both at the same time, immediately. They've not had time to get used to one another. After all, I didn't make them so they could play well with others. And as my voice hurts, or sorry, my throat bleeds from doing that voice. Oh, it hurts. It's good. Welcome to the first fight of the evening. Greeny goblins will fight a forest beauty and a monstrosity. Strange pair, isn't it? Place your bets, lads. Lord Azil pays double on a monster couple. Forest lady and monster. Who are you calling monster, worm? I can't do this anymore. We're just going to go with normal voices, but I had fun. Hopefully you did too. Nature has no place for you, goblin. Are you with me, Dryder? To cleanse those critters? Out of the way, Dryad. I'm not going to rip this, or I'm going to rip this thing into. I'm not going to rip this thing into. I'm just going to sit there and I'm going to shake its hand. It's, it's going to be fine. So apparently you click to the left or to the right of the boxes. That's how you advance the stuff. Don't tell me what to do, a Dryder. Kill them. Die. Get them while they fight. Continue. All right, so yeah, good stuff. All right, let's hop in a bit closer, get a little closer in on the action. So we have Giant Spider-Man, a Drider. His name is Belvar. And then we have Nairi. Oh yeah, Nairi was the person. I thought it was Curly or Car... Oh, because she was the distraction, and this is the one they stole. Okay, it makes sense. It's there. All right, so what do we have with him? We have Rotate. Awkward. We have Move and Attack, and that's it. And then what do we have with her? Then snare, control, nature, heal. Okay, then pretty much all the other stuff. All right, so I assume we want to keep her relatively safe. Which means we want him to go eat people. And we did a pretty decent job at the whole eating people thing. So I'm a fan. Yeah. Gonna chuck my dead on out there and see what I can do. Cool, it worked. I like it. So that dude tried to net the spider. It did not work. Ugh, that hurt. You want a piece of me? I'll give you more than you can chew. Well, that sounds awkward. Quite ins insulting. Your hero has been hurt. Balvar is your avatar in game, and battle is immediately lost if it is killed. It is advised to protect your hero. All right, if you insist, I can protect hey, the hero. Here, go ahead and get healed, yes. <laughs> Uh, can I move and kill somebody else? No, nope, he, he's... They're, they're pooping themselves again. They're gonna have the poop de poop de poop How would they leave, though? This is an arena, right? Like, that doesn't work. It is a tad awkward. Alright, whatever. We'll end the turn, and then I guess we'll chase them down and murder them. 
Goblin has resistance. Poison resist. Resistance greatly lowers damage if the unit is hit with that particular type of attack or spell type. Makes sense. So if we look, poison resistance, weak melee attack. It's carrying 20 gold points. It's panicked right now for one turn. It's got an ensnare, an ensnare ability, but it's a coward. So essentially, what does that mean? Minus two base morale. Okay. That's interesting. So, can I get you to waddle in between these two, and then you can do a double attack, I believe? Oh, shall I? One murder, death, kill. Do, do, we, do I get a second one? No? What does this say? Cannot move after attacking. I guess maybe he's just outside of range. That's okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I gotta scoot up. Oh, I guess I can't do no killing with her from that spot it's okay he's still a little freaked out i'm not gonna lie he's having a little bit of a bad time there we're gonna go and we're gonna stab him and we took him down as the dryad not the spider monster of doom or of doom if you want to go like crazy over the top it's fine all right yes 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 uh, i'm gonna say no just to check again t that's all the area that we can move within and then it's n and it's just nairi and a balvar all right cool all right, we're gonna. Oops, I didn't actually want to end my turn. I want to end the battle. Yes, we have won. We are victorious. Let's go back to our screen here. We have survived the first battle in our arena pit of doom. All right, what does it say here? Oh, guess we're going in. The initial fight was quite unremarkable. The goblins put up against or put against the creatures were vastly inferior in both skill and coordination. It was, however, quite entertaining to see the rabble try to attack the creatures, only to upset them and then get mauled in turn. Surprisingly, the Dryad seems to be leading. There must be more to the forest folk than we suspect. While it's clear that the pair are attempting to coordinate with each other, I do wonder if they're trying to work together or trying not to get killed. The Pitmaster also tells me there are qu that they're being quite unruly between fights. He had quite a jolly time up here laughing to Lord Azil and myself about how terribly domestic their arguments were. Apparently, they're fighting like a pair of kids locked in the cupboard for punishment. That sounds like bad parenting, but yeah, whatever. Continue. There we go. Let me out of here! That totally fits with him. Quiet, my ears are bleeding from your bloody screaming. The guard's not here. Ah... Oh, by the mother, what am I doing here? Those poor goblins. Those elixirs, Dryad, they make you fight. You've got no choice. I need out. Well, we both need out. You're strong. I saw what you did to those goblins. You could smash your way out. Perhaps you can break down the door. Continue. Wait until after the next fight. Escape now. I'm not sure if there's a reason not to escape early, but I'm going to wait. I think we're going to be able to get some more experience, I guess. I, I'm not sure how this all works. Again, we're going to learn as we go, but I'm going to have a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy it as well. But we're going to go take another fight, and then we'll break off the episode. Or well, so I hope. That's the plan, anyway. All right, so it looks like we're up against the three more. Lads and ladies, lords and nobles... Kind paying guests. Ooh, that's cut off right there. That's that's a little bit awkward. It's alright. We be presenting to you for ye delicate what? Delectation? I'm not sure what that means, I'm sorry. Uh, and delight, sure. The next round of this gruesome battle, goblins' blood did not quench their thirst for long, I guess? Could be long. We'll pretend it's long. These brave mercenary lads take on the challenge of the beasts, all in the hopes of fame and fortune. Hey, bastards! Didn't say anything about that monsters. Gods have mercies on our souls. Uh huh. That's totally a barbarian voice. If you didn't get that from like just, you know, it's fine. One of the enemies carries an item or artifact. Oh, oh, it's still, it's not an artifact, it's an atrifact. Ooh, that's rough. I'm assuming it's artifact, so atrifact. Uh, items are indicated by the backpack icon above the enemy. 
Items can be stolen in any of your unit, or if any of your units have the steel skill and later used or sold. Stolen potions can be used immediately. If we murder them, which is what we're going to do, do we also get the potions or the items that they have? I, I would assume yes. Uh, he's got a quality axe. Nice. All right, so I'm going to waddle on up here. Darkness is my way. I'm going to hit you once. Hit you twice. Ooh, it worked. That's actually kind of surprising. Ah! And there goes the arm. What a terrible sight. It is a bit gruesome, not going to lie. All right, we're oh, going to go over here, I guess, and chill. Looks like he used his quality axe. Okay, so yes, we can change between all sorts of stuff. It's, it's fine. So I'm going to take a look. So there you go. Barbarian, barbarian. All right, can I heal you, friend? Can I heal you? Got it. Got it. And it does appear that I can. All right, let's do a little bit of murder and a little bit more of the murder. Oh, we're looking pretty solid at this point. And then the turn. He's like, aha, I cut you. Do you? Do you What's now? That? I will try to net you. It worked. Yes. 90% and we said good day, sir. We got money. It doesn't look like we got the extra axe. I'm just going to take another quick peek. No. All right. End the battle. Yes. Well, that was easy and quick. The Dryad represents some of my finest work. I have not changed much to much about the creature. The anger I have induced in it and the quality of the potions would impress even the most pious of healers and alchemists. We will have to wait to see how the Dryder performs. Only time will tell if the surgery was a success. The Pitmaster has remarked that they seem to dislike being kept together. Apparently, he's chained them together for now. If they're smart, they should pick up on the meaning. Lord Azil's been quite quiet thus far. Only now does he seem to be getting excited. This is probably a bad sign. Hopefully, he's not about to unleash something too sinister. It would be most embarrassing for my creatures to be mortally wounded during their first fights. Alright, I shall continue. This is wrong. You can't expect me to fight for entertainment. Ah, my head. I need space. Fresh air. The hells is wrong with you? You're the most schizophrenic drider I've ever seen. What did they do to me? Why do I have all these memories? Blood, war, death everywhere. It's the alchemist. Guard said you were under surgery of some kind. That's... that's wrong. We need to get out. Ah, guard is coming. They ain't letting you rest today. Ready yourself for the next fight, beasties. Continue. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to break off the first episode right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more information about the game or where to get the game, I'll have all the information I can find down below in the description of the video, as I always do. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Let me know what you think. Do you like the series so far? Are you excited enough about the series? You want to see number one and number two in the series? That would be Age of Fear 1 and Age of Fear 2. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely thinking of doing the full series. I'm, I'm liking it so far, unless I turn out to absolutely despise it, which I highly doubt. By the end of my, uh, my Let's Play, then I will probably move into Age of Fear 1 and then 2. It's supposed to be a long-running series, too. It's supposed to have, I, I want to say, I know for sure there's supposed to be at least four games. I can't remember if I read it, there was going to be five or more. But either way, I'm excited, I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it, and I can't wait to play more. Uh, leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.